all right all right what's up guys welcome back to the channel thank you all for tuning in today and i feel kind of disappointed because it's the first time i missed a week since i started taking youtube a little bit more serious i've been posting like once a week at least for like the past like year or so it's the first time i missed a video but it's because i do have a good reason why guys um my wife and i already have a baby boy everything looks healthy so go ahead and leave a like for my baby boy guys he's gonna see this video god willing in like eight years ten years and I'm gonna point them right to this video, so go ahead and leave him a bunch of likes. Leave something, like leave a congratulations in the or something down for him in the comment section down below, guys. You guys can see right here the V6 is sitting nice and pretty on the side of the house, and that's because the new daily car is in the driveway actually. So if you guys recall, probably about a month ago, I did make a video about if the EcoBoost or the Mustang in general can be a family car, and we really, 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 really wanted to, guys, but. Um, I mean, I, you guys gotta understand. I have a baby, I have a wife. It gets freaking hot in Texas where I live. It, right now, especially in the summer or in fall, it gets like to like 110. We've been getting some crazy weather. Uh, it's been real bipolar actually. It's been flooding, and then the days that it's hot, if she's gonna go to a doctor's appointment, I can't have her like be putting the seat down and bending down to put the, the car seat and take them out and put them in when the heat, guys, it's really bad, especially if I'm at work and I can't go with her to the doctor's appointment and stuff like that. Um, it's just, you know, it's just not reasonable. I had to had to be understanding about it guys It is her vehicle. It was under her name So I couldn't just like strip her away of her car and do whatever I wanted with it You know, uh, it's called adulting. It's called respecting. I did mention to her I wanted to get a Chevy SS or a Dodge Charger or a Kia Stinger something that was gonna be kind of cool Something that I can still modify something I can still go to the car scene with but she, we had a long talk and she wanted something comfortable something that it's good for her and the baby and for the family that we're starting obviously so i'm gonna go ahead and reveal to you guys that right there so obviously by the name of the video and the title you guys already know what the video is going to be about so here she is guys we did end up getting a 2020 toyota rav4 i know it's nothing insane it's probably nothing you all would have thought nothing i was honestly thinking but to her she said it is her dream truck it does make me happy knowing that she did get the truck she wanted to but i did get the rav4 right here in the xle premium so it does come with these i think it's like the 19 inch wheels like those silver, silver gunmetal uh, wheels right there you do have a bunch of accents black accents I mean honestly it looks kind of sporty it doesn't look really bad it doesn't look like a soccer mom van I mean I actually like it obviously you guys already know we got the poop on it but I mean it has a what are the, the bike racks I don't know what they're called actually but there's some kind of racks the rails up there and here's a full tour of the vehicle we did get it in like the midnight blue. I don't know the color exactly, but it kind of resembles the EcoBoost uh, Kona blue. Here she is, guys, in all her beauty. Again, we did get premium, so oh, gotta get the keys. All right, guys, now that she's unlocked, uh, we did get the premium one once again. So it does have like this leather uh, vinyl seats, which I mean, look pretty cool, honestly. I mean, it looks kind of sporty, kind of like uh, bucket seat style. And uh, this is the interior. I I'm pretty happy with the interior. It's a lot better than the Mustang. Um, Y'all can see everything right here. My favorite part is the sunroof right here, guys. But, I mean, it's pretty simple. I like it as Apple CarPlay. Look in the rear, we do have the car seat. We got the mirror going on, all the baby modifications. And I don't know if we can start modding this, actually. I've already looked into to some stuff. I don't want to make it too off-road because, again, I don't want to mess up the whole comfortability of the vehicle because it is hers. But here she is. Quite a bit of room space that we have back here. Happy wife, happy life, guys. You guys already know that model. Let me know what you guys think. Don't be disappointed. I tried last minute trying to convince her to get the Grand Cherokee because that would have been pretty badass to have like the SRT or the Tricog, but she was like, no, I just, no, 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 no. Especially since I showed her some videos and some of those videos, some guys had it like cams and stuff like that or just heavily modified, but it is what it is. On the EcoBoost, we were just about to start heavily modifying it. We ended up actually trading it in with the spoiler, with the side marker LEDs, the RTR grill, and I think that's it. I mean, we hadn't done anything too, too crazy on it, but I believe that was it. just like three months that we did leave on it. Now there leaves a lot of modifying room for the V6. And it also helps us get a, this much closer to getting that 5.0 to the stable. I already made my decision, guys. I do have a goal. Once we hit 5K subscribers, which I know it might seem pretty far away, we're really, really close to hitting 1K, guys. So 5K is not that far off. But if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. Like the video. Help me out here, man. Like, let's get to 1K, guys. Again, 
I appreciate all the support, all the love, guys. Don't give me hate for the, uh, the Mustang trade-in. But I appreciate you guys as always. I'll catch you guys on the next one. God bless.